In this video, we will show that a binomial random variable will converge to a Poisson random variable where p is equal to lambda over n. So let's start off with our binomial random variable and look at its MGF. So as a review, we know that its MGF is 1 minus p plus p e to the t, all of that to the n. Now what we're going to do is just um, rearrange a little bit. So we have inside the brackets 1 plus p times e to the t minus 1. All right, so nothing crazy happening yet. And next step, we're just going to multiply um, n over n. So that's fair. We can multiply by 1. No big deal there. So we have n over n. And now we can rearrange this a little bit more. So let's have e to the t minus 1 over n. And then let's take um, n and p and collect those as well. All right, so that means that our MGF is 1 plus e to the t minus 1 over n times np to the n. And now we're going to say, let's let lambda equals np, because we're trying to show that binomial with parameters np will converge to a Poisson with parameter lambda as long as um, p is equal to lambda over n. All right, so that means we can swap out np for lambda. Now we're going to use that lemma that we talked about in the previous video. So the lemma said, that if we have some sequence a to the n converging to a, then we um, get 1 plus a to the n over n, all of that to the n will converge to e to the a. So what we need to do now in order to apply this is um, find some sequence in here. So we're going to choose a very boring sequence that won't actually have any n's in it at all. So our sequence is going to be e to the t minus 1 times lambda. So in other words, this stuff there. So the reason for that is so that it will look like this. We'll have 1 plus something, that sequence, over n. So that's why we've chosen this to be our sequence, e to the t minus 1 times lambda. All right, so we apply that lemma, and that gives us that our MGF is equal to this, which will converge to e to the a. So now we need to figure out, well, what is a? What is the limit of our sequence here? OK, so a is the limit of our sequence. And our sequence was e to the t minus 1 times lambda. Well, that was a boring sequence. It doesn't have any n's in it at all. So we know that our limit is just equal to e to the t minus 1 times lambda. All right, so let's go ahead and use that now. So our MGF will converge to e to the this stuff. So e to the e to the t minus 1 times lambda. Now, remember in the previous video, I pointed out the MGF for a Poisson. And it looks just like this. So that's great. So this is saying that our MGF for binomial is going to converge to the MGF for a Poisson. So what this is saying is that our binomial random variable with parameters n and p will converge to a Poisson random variable with parameter lambda, where p is equal to lambda over n. Yay.